This is the biggest issue right here. This skylight leaks like a colander. This is part of Dana's office right here. This is where she does work, you know? We opened up our whole entire home to this guy and it's just been a nightmare for us. I, I'm not really honing in on how detrimental this has been for us. It's a big deal. It's a big yeah. deal. I really feel bad for the Kungal family. I mean, this is Dana's work area. I can't believe that someone would walk away from this situation. Wow. So this was really his attempt at the skylight, huh? Pick up that flashing. Peel it uh, up. You got to Come on. There it is, dude. Oh. There's your waterproofing wow. system. Are you serious? Look at this. This is double-sided tape. You had a sign that you wanted to put up in your kitchen that said, kiss the cook. <laughs> this would not be good enough <laughs> to put that sign up in your right. kitchen. So okay. is he this, telling yeah. you the roofing is really his thing? Or? He's a roofer by trade. This is a poor attempt to cover up this seam. Yeah. This, this is a complete pile of dog <laughs> A glazier is a trained and certified professional in the art of cutting and installing glass. Looking at this work, I can tell right away this contractor, Pedro, is definitely not a certified glazier. Pour some water down there and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> how much is going over and how much None. is going in? No wonder this thing leaks. It's not sealed right. There are things where you look at it and you go, well, this may have worked for a while. This didn't work day one. <laughs> I don't think this ever worked. The other problem I have with this is that it's also very unsafe. You have a huge amount of weight on this roof with this glass. And if there was ever failure of this glass, it could easily fall in on your family. So thank God we have 700 pounds worth of dude all standing <laughs> in one place yeah. over the super dangerous glass. It really pisses me off when lousy contractors take advantage of nice people. This guy, Pedro, clearly didn't know what he was doing. This is the type of shoddy work that we see all the time that gives guys like me and other professional licensed contractors a bad name. 